up, you beautiful bastards? Hope you're having a wonderful weekday. I'm Philip DeFranco, this is The Philip DeFranco Show, and let's just jump right into it. And to start up our show, our first news story suggested by you, our first adventure in this prestigious episode of The Philip DeFranco Show. Cancer is in the news today. Cancer, and specifically, how our government might have been giving it to people on purpose. In the 1970s, a program for political refugees encouraged those coming to America to settle in the small town of Thatcher, Michigan. They would receive tax benefits, get an easier immigration process, but the catch was that they had to stay in that town indefinitely. For some time after this, it became a noticeable trend that those living in Thatcher, Michigan had a much higher rate of cancer than anyone else in the United States. And for decades, no one knew why. That was until yesterday, when leaked documents revealed that the American government had been purposefully trying to give people in that town cancer. It appears that the CIA at the time believed that people with cancer would be easier to mind control. And so they ran this operation under the hopes that they could give these people cancer and then remotely control them, thus influencing foreign events. And looking at this whole story, all of the thousands of people who were killed because of this operation, I have to say, this seems bad. But hey, you know, we gotta remember there's two sides to every story, and that's an important thing we try to remember on this show. Keep in mind, in America, national security is very important. And if this operation had been successful, if it had, I would argue the ends would have justified the means. And while we're on this topic, be sure to go to the official Phil DeFranco merch shop to get your hands on your very own The Ends Justify the Meme shirt. For the people that say, you know, memes are strange, but when you get to the end, it all makes sense. And let's just say that if this video gets 5,000 likes, then the entire store will suddenly be 30% off. That's my gift to you. And with that, let's jump right into Today in Awesome, brought to you thanks to BetterHelp.com slash DeFranco. And our first bit of awesomeness today comes from The Odd Ones Out, who has a relatable video on what it's like to have elbows and various things you can do with them. Binging with Babish follows up with his series on movie foods as he makes the Twinkie Wiener Sandwich from UHF. And YouTuber Quentin Reviews has a video out titled Every Philip DeFranco Video. It's, uh, something else. As per usual, you can check out that video and all the others in the description box below. And as our second story of the day, another transit news piece suggested by you, another fantastical story in the Philip DeFranco Show. 13 dead in Missouri, Texas, in what is, without a doubt, the most tragic massacre of the evening. Our story starts off at 345 at the official Missouri Texas Bank, where local Lloyd Birch entered with a sawed off shotgun and began robbing the establishment. The police soon arrived, and to distract them from his escape, he lit a small part of the building on fire. But the fire soon grew, engulfing the building before moving to neighboring businesses. Two of those consumed were a local pet shelter and an orphanage, and sadly, many of the casualties were from those two buildings. I just want to come out and say, full force, fuck this person for being so reckless and endangering so many lives. That's just how I feel, you know, and this is the Phil DeFranco Show, but it's really about hearing what you guys have to say, so I want to hear your thoughts on this story. Am I right? Am I wrong? Is there somewhere in the middle? What do you guys think of baby murder? Is it good? Is it bad? Personally, I'm somewhere in the middle. I think there's a lot of baby murder that's bad, but there's also some baby murder that can be good. However you feel about this, whether you think it's bad or you're going to go out and do it yourself tomorrow night, I want to hear from you guys. So, so go ahead and slam those thoughts and prayers into the comment section below. And our final story of the day surrounds the popular Stargate fandom website, Stargate Gate, which has become unbridled in a controversy known simply as Stargate Gate Gate. On June the 31st, Stargate user One False Stop posted a thread discussing the show's 11th season. Now, for those of you who don't know, Stargate's 11th season never began filming because it was cancelled on its 10th, meaning that this user was trying to discuss details of episodes which never aired. One False Stop was shocked to discover the next morning that he had been fully banned for life because of this post. When reaching out to the site's head admin, Slovakian Escape 226, said admin had this to say. Our spoiler policies on this site are clear. 
Anyone discussing details of an episode which has yet to air is to be immediately banned without warning. We've been a community for over 10 years, and we've had to work very hard to make sure that our users can enjoy future episodes in our franchise without being spoiled. Because of this, you are now banned, and this will not be overturned. You broke policy, and that is just that. These posts have since gone viral, with a Twitter campaign calling for One False Step's account to be reinstated. Many on the Stargate Gate forum started posts campaigning for their rules to be updated for modern times. But in response to this, the head admin has since added this to the site's official rules. Anyone who is caught criticizing the choices of an admin on Stargate Gate, whether on-site or anywhere else on the internet, will be immediately banned for life without discussion. Our admin team works very hard on this site, and those who challenge our judgments only seek to make our work harder. And now, many of those who criticize the admins on this site have been forced to live their lives in secrecy. Knowing that if any admin is able to connect to their social media, to their Stargate Gate accounts, they will be banned for life. And that's why today I am declaring Slovakian Escape 226 to be our official douchebag of the day. And with that, this has been the Philip DeFranco Show. As usual, you can check out those links on screen right now to see more of the show. And as I said to the last two girls I had a three-way with, I've been Philip DeFranco, you've just been filled in, I love your faces, and I'll see you tomorrow.